What's up, guys? Hybrid Mongoose. What am I doing? What am I doing with my you <laughs> with another Pokemon Go video? And this is going to be a little bit different of a... It's not going to be a vlog. It's mostly going to be a recap. And if you like this new style video that I'm doing, make sure to leave a thumbs up, comment below, and let me know what you think. You know what I thought of actually after as well is I'm going to throw more vlog elements into this. So as time goes on, this type of recap is going to change. Um, but I think it's for the better. So anyway, guys, this is about Gibble Community Day, and I will actually cover what happened at the end of this Community Day. And this is the first Community Day where, in a long, long time, uh, this is this is the Community Day that got me back into Pokemon Go because Chi contacted me and was like, "Hey, dude, I got vaccinated," and I was like, "Awesome, me too." and let's hang out so we hung out and uh, i gotta hand it to chi he planned it out really really well we actually went to royal oak first then we went to troy and then we went to birmingham and then we went to <laughs> and then we went we ended up at somerset mall so we hung out we had a great time we're gonna see a bunch of footage pop up on the screen um of us of me catching a bunch of different pokemon and all that um we we started in royal oak for the first couple hours um we're doing pretty good chi actually got more shinies than me but i actually got the most shinies i have ever gotten ever and i will reveal that at the end of this video previous to this on a regular community day just a regular community day i got 27 shinies it was totodile this was a long time ago but that was in a three hour period not a six hour period so we played the entire time we were in royal oak we had a lot of fun we were playing for the first couple hours then we actually went to troy played there for a bit and then ended up getting sushi which is a, also another thing because of the pandemic i think in the past ever since the pandemic probably a year and a half i'd never had sushi so i was craving sushi like crazy so we went to the sushi place i don't remember the name but it was so good. <laughs> it was so good. And actually, if you want to see Chi eat a lot of food, oh my god. <laughs> he can he can throw down some sushi. They brought it over to him in a boat. Like one of those wooden boats. They brought it in. And I'm thinking, I've eaten with Chi a million times. And I was just like, there is no way he's eating all that. He ate it all. <laughs> so, I mean, he's... He's like the master of eating sushi or something. I don't know. That was a lot of sushi. <laughs> so he ate all of that. And I was like, whoa, dude, that's amazing. Um, I got a crunch. I got a yum yum roll, which is basically a roll. It's the same for every place that I've ever gotten it from. It's uh, it's a it's like a tuna roll or salmon roll that's flash fried in tempura. Oh, it's so good. And then uh, I got uh, like a dragon roll, which is like barbecue eel. I know that sounds crazy, but barbecue eel is oh, amazing. Um, so we ate there. And at that time, I, it was funny enough because it was community. I'm like, is this a pokey stop or do you have a pokey stop there? And he's like, yeah. And I'm like, okay, awesome. Perfect. So we, you know, lit up the pokey stop and played. And that's probably within that hour is probably the slowest we've got. Like we didn't really go that hard. Um, we also ended up in Birmingham, which I have to say, Birmingham, I would never live there. <laughs> you ever go to a place and you're like, yeah, there's a bunch of rich people here. Like, th it felt so, like, Birmingham, West Bloomfield area, those people are, like, in my area, those people are rich. So we were in the downtown area, and it looked nice and everything, but the thing that tipped you off that everyone was rich it's just the sheer amount of expensive cars just like parked on the side of the road. And it was funny enough because we were hanging out there and uh, Chi's like, dude, we're not eating sushi here. <laughs> Which is hilarious because it's like, yeah, no, I, I get it, dude. We're not, <laughs> I'm not paying a hundred dollars a plate like right now. This is ridiculous. So um, they did have really, really, really good cluster spawns there. I definitely want to go back there for community day again because the the, the spawns were outrageous, like they were crazy, um, and in like we could barely leave. There were so many spawns popping up, and I was like, this is a really good place for community day. Um, so after we went to Birmingham, after we hung out, we ended up in 
Somerset Mall, which funny enough, we're hanging out in Somerset Mall, and at that point, everything is going good, and uh, I actually run into my coworker, <laughs> just hilarious, um, and all that other stuff, so anyway, let's do the final count. So the best shiny I got, let's pull this up right now, I actually have like the live feed of my, my game, so let's look up and then show the evol evolutionary lines too. So I actually traded Master Chi, this guy right here, and ended up getting a 96. This was a non-lucky too. So 96 off a of non-lucky, that's extremely, extremely good. But the total I got for the, all the shinies was 40. I got 40 shinies in six hours. That's the best I've ever done. And I know people have done better. Um, you know, online and all that other stuff. But this was a milestone for me personally to actually hit that many in that time. So that that was awesome. I was just like, dude. <laughs> yeah, if you can't hear, there's there's 40 there. And uh, I want to show, other than that, the other gibble I have. Because we got a couple really good, um, like, they're not even, they're, we got like a couple 98s. I got two 98s regular uh gibble and then i got two 96s we got a couple 93s like i evolved this guy right here it's a 98 like we did awesome like like we really grinded hard and <laughs> it, it was amazing like we got like i said we got a couple 98s we got a you know it was it was just i mean it was crazy it was crazy so it's cool to see that we're you know wait is this one the 98 one of these is 98 no that one sucks <laughs> 96 shiny can't you know can i complain no not at all a 96 percent iv shiny is incredible it's like the one i've maxed out too so it's it's completely maxed out which i mean i just did it just because i could um and also the xl candy i <laughs> i almost wish they would retroactively this is probably a whole nother video for this but i could do a whole rant on xl candy because i feel like like the old school players you know you have all this like pidgey candy and all this other stuff and if you were to catch that many pidgey you would have some xl candy from that and i feel like we should retroactively get it i don't know if they did do that but it feels like it feels like I can't max anything out. Oh, I have a Metatite that I, can, I can't I can max out because I ran out of candy. I ran out of candy for Great League. And I, I mean, I understand, but I it, it just like, I feel like 100 candy is too much. Anyway, <laughs> that's completely on a completely side, side tangent. Okay. But anyway, guys, that's kind of going to be the format for the new videos going forward. It, it'll, it'll allow me to make more content for you guys and actually make more videos easier. And then, like I said, I'm going to start bringing my camera to do vlog segments, shoot B-roll in between here and there as I'm telling the story, and cut back back and forth so the content is going to evolve to be like kind of like half vlog almost and half recap. So I... I'm excited to see how it turns out. I think it'll be the best way that I can keep content coming for you guys. So that is going to do it for the video, guys. If you like the video, hit that like button. Join the Mongoose gang today and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.